So this will be just a fast rant. It's not even an, an introduction on some capacitor motor stuff. I scaled this project up from the last capacitor motor. And you'll realize more you scale this thing up, less you'll be able to use capacitors in the range of microfarads. You are definitely going to have to go in the range of 1 farad up to the 500 farad capacitors, which are no different than placing a battery on the system. Basically, these capacitors are new age batteries. So if you use them, it's eye candy. It's kind of like eye candy. You're making a motor run in caps, but really, if it's not microfarads, it's really eye candy. Now, motors built with microfarads are not as powerful as motors built with batteries or super caps, because super capacitors are new age batteries. Okay? You can run your motor all day for super capacitor because it's a new age battery. I'm going to try my best to get these motors to run on microfarads. But, it's not a promise. So here, I just charged this capacitor bank with this battery. Hmm? Because it's a bigger motor, slightly bigger, it's not going to run as long as the small motor I had. Now I'm using one phase of this stuff. I haven't played schematic about this motor yet. It's my little rant. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put on the switch. It's going to run for a while. And of course, for it to run longer, I'm going to have to put two phases in series to get more resistance again. Because if you want it to run on these things, you're going to have to have a lot of resistance on these coils. So, I just place the yellow and the red coils are two run coils I have, okay? They are three coils per phase. Okay? In all, no, I mean, I have six coils in series. Let's run this stuff. Yep. Going to run slightly longer, but then... The eye candy is done. Get it? So, yeah. Once you are in the microfarad range, you know, this one is what? 3,900 microfarads. This one is some... Um, 100 volt, 4,700 microfarads. Four in parallel. You'll run for a little while. Probably my option here right now is super capacitors. Now this thing is totally discharged, right? Just won't run right now. So what if I pull a stunt? So now I place a rectifier on the other phase. One phase is going to be used as drive coil and the other phase I'm going to use it to rectify it and send it in this capacitor bank charge port because I have an output as a plus but I also have an input to charge this capacitor bank so we just let's drain this motor out okay, it's not running let's see so I'm going to put up, turn the motor off, and I'm going to charge it uh, by hands a bit. Let's see how much runtime we are going to get if it just charging on its own runtime. Okay, two turns, three turns, set it, and let's go. So how long is it going to run on its own charge without any battery? Not too long, not too long. So there's place for improvement. So in summary, how am I how am I going to conclude this thing? So in conclusion, 
if you really want to build these types of motors, capacitor motors, you should start shopping for supercaps. In other words, modern day batteries. Okay? Or you're going to have to put an extreme amount of resistance on these coils. Now, trust me, the resistance I have on these coils are very high. I use very thin coils to build this stuff. A lot of turns. And as you can see, it has worked. But it ran for a while. So, this FP Connex is out. Okay. Alright, the caps are already charged up with a battery, of course. Test out the cap back. Notice the motor is not spinning because no magnets is underneath the switch. And if I'm stopping the motor to restart it before the cap charge is over, I'm not going to stop the motor underneath a magnet. It proves something, okay? And we'll see this. As I said, the center coil, center magnet has nothing to do with the project right now. It was just a makeshift uh, generator I attempted for this small project. It's not really effective or anything. Okay? So, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to attempt to remove the ground. Remove the ground. I will attempt to remove positive for nice discharge. Whoops. Discharge the scaps. Dry. Okay. Yeah. And FP Connects is out. <laughs>